Get everybody, it's James here from Dark Art Stock, picking a hope you're doing well, peace folks, doing some hacking, but as always, keeping it bloody legal. And, as you can tell by the thumbnail, I have a, another product in to review from Multipick, all the way over in Germany. As you know, Multipick creates high quality products, and the product they sent me to review today is a must-have for locksmiths and emergency personnel. Now, it's not really designed for lock spotters. I mean, yeah, a lock spotter could have some fun having a go with it. But for entry specialists, people that need to get into buildings quickly, and it doesn't matter if you cause some destruction, then this is a must-have product. Locksmiths, quite a few I've spoken to, all said it's easier most of the time for them just to drill out a lock, and then get to allow a person into their house and lock themselves out, and then replace the lock. This is a lot easier than having to try and drill out a lock. It is a destructive method. But what I'm talking about is the Bell Plug Puller Complete Set with the V-Pro screws, the Viper Pro screws. So what do you get in the complete set? Well, you get the Bell unit itself right here that is designed to pull out the cores on your locks. It is super heavy. I mean, this thing has some beef to it. It is really, really high quality construction, solid steel, the outer housing, you have the internal housing in here where you hook your screw in, and then you have the little nut on the end here, which as you re turn it, you bring it back, pull in that sensor carriage back, and that there will pull that core straight out of the lock. It is super, super efficient. It is a lot of fun, if you don't mind causing a little bit of destruction, and she works. She is absolutely fantastic, which we'll see show you in this video. So you get the unit itself, the bell puller. Now, not every lock is the same, and so you don't go messing up the door. You don't have to go fixing the door. It's easy just to replace a lock than fixing the whole door. But to stop you from messing up the door, they also include two face plates right here these are thick steel face plates you get two you get one for euro locks and one for your most common locks that you come across here or your basic locks just the core this is designed to fit over euro locks so i have a euro style lock just here and it would sit into that cutout in there that way then, you're adding pressure to the face of the lock rather than the door as you pull that core out. It's putting all the pressure on the face of that lock right there. And for your standard kind of rim cylinder, you have this one, this basic plate just here, which again, you're lying over the top, and it puts all the force focused on that core as you're pulling it out, and you're not going to mess up the rest of the door by using this unit as it is. So that's what you get in there, along with this little packaging here. You get two little stick on foam, little protector bumpers. You can put, stick them on the end of your unit here. So little two little stick on ones just there. And of course, the V Pro screws. Now, these come in different sizes, because again, not all locks are the same size. You get 5.5 millimeters, 4.2 millimeters, and 4.8. These screws, I'll tell you what, these are beasts. They are unbelievable. The amount of force that you can put on one of these screws isn't met anywhere else by any other screw in the same category. I can tell you that now. These are super, super Super strong screws. They have a self-tapping feature, so you don't have to pre-drill the cores. These are designed, with the tip and everything like that, to actually just screw straight in to your core. No lubricants, no pre-drilling, none of that. These will drill into the lock themselves. They will, the threads there will grip onto that core, and the amount of strength, pulling force on these you can put onto these screws is unbelievable. They do not let go. It takes a 
hell of a lot of force for these to break and let go. So you get your different sizes depending on what size of core you're attacking. Now, one of the questions is, because these screws being so high quality and really well made, they're going to be a little bit more expensive than your standard screws. One of the pe things that people ask is, can they be used more than once? Yes. Most of the time you can use these screws more than once. If you can remove them from the core, you can reuse that screw again in another lock. They're going to wear down, they're going to get metal fatigue, and at some stage they will break. But you might get three or four cores pulled with one screw, saving you a little bit of money. But honestly, these are fantastic screws, and these are a must-have if you've got one of these units. Now, they do come with the little Torx bit, because these are Torx heads, not your standard screw tips. So, to show you how this thing works, and how cool this thing really bloody is, let's lock it up in a couple of locks in my big vise over here, and we'll put some screws in, show you how well these work, and let's rip some cores out and cause a little bit of destruction, even though, you know, I specialise in non-destructive entry, a little bit of destruction is always fun. So, let me get it all set up, and we'll get right back to it. Alright, so I'm hoping the lighting's alright so you can see. I'm going to take one of these drill bits. of the bits put in my drill here. And I've got my screw that I'm going to use. To show you how well these screws work. Going to place them into the lock. And hopefully not rob the camera around too much. I'm trying to do it around my lights. Let me just get around this light here. There goes the tail piece off the lock. So as you can see, and hopefully it didn't bounce around too much. I do apologize for that. We've got our screw now firmly planted into the lock and the back piece did come off. I'm gonna take bring the stuff back. Our plate. I'm gonna sit this light over here. I'm trying to work around lights and everything else at the moment. Stick our plate over the face of our lock and align it so that the core is in the center of this plate. And then we're going to hook our unit over. So if I turn on the angles, so hopefully you'll be able to see. Let's bring it down a bit more. Now, sometimes you might go a little bit too far in with a screw. So I'm just going to back it out a fraction. So that I can actually grip onto it. Got to go back a little bit more. So it's probably best not to go screwing in too far. Probably to like the last thread on the screw sticking out. Now I've got that hooked over, and hopefully you'll be able to see through the camera where that is hooked on. And I'm just going to tighten him up a little bit, just enough to hold. And make sure we're all lined up. Again, I'm going to try and step around these lights and everything else. So you can see we're all lined up. Cause in place, our screw is fixed in there. Now I'm just going to take a shifter, put him on here, and we're going to start tightening. And you should see the center of that bell start pulling the core out. 
And remember, because we've got the face plate here covering it, all the force is going to be applied to the front of the lock. So I'm going to start turning. And it's actually quite easy to turn. Not a whole lot of, you know, you're not really forcing a lot of pressure. Try to get my hands out of the way. It does get, you know, a little bit of pressure behind it, but come on, shift it off. Not, and hopefully your lock doesn't come out of your vice. <laughs> Let me lock this back up again. Yeah, I wouldn't do this in a uh, door, but. Again, we'll keep going. Now it gets quite tight, like not overly a whole lot of pressure required, but it does get pretty tight, and then you'll feel it start to give as you turn, as that core is coming out. It's that initial break that you are fighting for. Well, not fighting, but there goes the t cap off the tail. I'm just turning. I'll stop there for a second. Let me show you. So that tail piece come off. So it gets a little bit, not a whole lot of pressure, it gets a little bit of pressure behind it with that first initial as you're trying to break your tail piece off and break the lock. Not something that I would say, you know, like is a lot of, it takes a lot of strength. Um, it does take some strength, but not a whole lot. But once you get that initial part gone, it lightens up. And as you can see, if you look in there, the core is starting to come out. Now, this has a very fine thread I say fine thread, like on the inside, the rod, so it makes extraction a lot smoother and a lot easier, less pressure required. I can feel that just going and going. Uh, hopefully my hand doesn't keep going in the way. There you go. Now, one of the ratcheting <laughs> shifters would be a whole lot better, a whole lot easier. You just keep going until that core comes out, which I can feel. Like that. Take your face plate away. And our core is now stuck in there. We have fully extracted our core. And that is where you can take a screwdriver, flat-headed style screwdriver, stick it in and manipulate that actuator. So let's have a look at the damage done on here. So as you can see, we have sheared right through. I'll bring it around so you get a close-up look. We have sheared right through the center of that lock. You can see some of the damage done oh, on there. So let's back this off so we can get that screw out. And we can have a look. So pause this and we'll get this core out. Alright, so you can see we've done quite a bit of damage to that core, pulling it out. It's broken at the end there. So... As I said, you can remove these screws. All you have to do is we're going to lock, if you've got a vice on you, and lock up the core and the vice. There it is, a screwdriver. Or, even faster, you drill. Remove 
remove that screw. And as you can see, it's still the tip's a little bit, you know, burnt out. But we could probably get away with another lock with this. So, uh, Lock another one up. I'll put you in a position where you can kind of see where I'm looking at um, from my angle, and we'll rip out. Let's go a Euro lock. All see right. So I've got out. Euro lock in the vise here. I'm going to take that same screw that we used before, and we're going to drill him into the centre of that core. Might be enough, we'll see. I'll take the Euro plate because there's that cut out. Sit him over there and he locks on quite nicely. Take my bell, place my bell on there. Let's tighten this up just enough so that it grabs that screw. What they call a lock cracker, this one. Make sure we're still got that face plate set in the Euro like that. Right, that's tightened on there now. So our unit is all fixed. Take the shifter and we're going to start. Turning. So as you can see, it's that initial bit that gets a bit tight. There we go. That just gave that core. We keep turning. That's the one of those ratcheting ones. It'd be so much faster <laughs> than this. So let's just keep going. Now to pick up all these pins and stuff that's all on the floor here. Just like that. We have now extracted our core. Come on off. And my shifter doesn't want it undo. Come on, thank you. And here is our core. As you can see, we sheared off the end of that there, where the circle clip connects to. Pulls that out. And then, you would take like a screwdriver, clean out the inside of that lock. And then you can use the screwdriver Use preferably a flathead or the specialized tool to then turn that tail piece in there and manipulate the lock open. So let me clean this up, we'll go back to the bench and give you my final opinion on it, what I think, prices, and how you can get your hands on one. So the aid of magic, this will all be cleaned up. Very so, soon. the Multipick Bell Plug Puller Complete Set. Is it a great product? Yes. Is it a lot of fun? 
Yes, I have to admit it actually is quite a bit of fun destroying some blocks. Now, again, as I said, it's more for locksmiths. Locksmiths, I mean, you can have a bit of fun, but, you know, once you crack open a couple of locks, the fun novelty of it wears off. This is a workhorse. It is designed for locksmiths. It is designed for emergency personnel. I took my time, you know, showing you how it works, drilling into the locks and slowly pulling out the cores. But you could remove a core from a lock really quickly with a little bit of practice, gain access into buildings rapidly, but it is quite a destructive method. So, anyway, if you want to get your hands on one of these, you can head to Multipick. They sell them for 165 euro, which here in Australia works out to around the $230 mark um, for one of these products. Definitely, definitely bloody worth it, I can tell you that. Now, but if you head over to Multipick and you want to get your hands on one, or these badass screws that really hold up to a lot of force, use my discount code for 10% off. So you're going to get 10% off your purchase. The discount code is MPYTDALP23. So like Multipick, MP, YouTube, YT, DALP, DALP, and 23. That Discount code lasts till the end of the year, so you've got plenty of time to use it. And on a product like this for locksmiths and entry personnel, definitely bloody worth it. So, anyway, let us know in the comments below. What do you think? Is it something that you would use? As a locksmith, you know, it's going to save you a bit of time. Get a nice profit of replacing a lock after you pull the core out. You know... Let us know in the comments when you know what your thoughts on all that are. And uh, till next time, check out all links in the description down below. Massive thank you to Multipick again for sending this in for free for me to review. Really do appreciate it. Thank you everyone. Stay safe. Keep it bloody legal. And till next time, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And cheers guys. Don't forget, thumbs up. Really do bloody appreciate it.